hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i will be doing the csec principles of accounts january 2021 i'll be doing question five in relation to the upcoming exam on monday of this month and this is in relation to the topics that you are required to prepare or to study on so that you can do your exams on Monday and be successful. So I will be looking at a trial balance question so that it can help you to prepare. But I just want to say thank you so much for the support that you students have been giving me to my channel. I really do appreciate it. And for those of you students who are visiting my channel for the very first time, a warm welcome. And please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Yes, thank you so much. And turn on your notification bell so that you know when new videos are being uploaded. So, July 7, Monday is, did I say the 7th? Am I correct? Or is the 5th, sorry, the 5th of July, which is Monday, you'll be doing your exam. So let's get into this question. So here it says, the following balances were extracted from the ledgers of Black, Black Cake Enterprise Limited on the on 31st of December, 2020. Now, Black Cake Enterprise Limited, the trial balance as at 31st of December, 2020. We have revenue 110,000, bank overdraft 4,500, fixtures and fittings $35,000, provision for depreciation, fixtures and fittings 2,300, land 59,000, Capital sixty thousand, inventory twenty five thousand, trade receivables thirteen thousand, trade payables twenty seven thousand, purchases fifty six thousand, discount received eight thousand seven hundred, wages and salaries twelve thousand, discount allowed five thousand two hundred, sundry expenses. 6900 you are required it says use the form provided on page 23 to prepare the trial balance for black cake enterprise limited as at 31st of december 2020 include the account and the amount to make both sides of the trial balance equal so where that's what we are required to do. So let's put in our information on our trial balance and this is what our trial balance should look like. So we have Black Cake Enterprise Limited trial balance as at 31st of December, 2020. So here we go, we have our revenue, 110,000 credit, bank overdraft, 4,500 credit, fixtures and fittings. We have $35,000 debit, provision for depreciation, fixtures, 2,300 credit, land, $59,000 debit, capital, 60,000 credit, inventory, 25,000, dollars debit trade receivables thirteen thousand dollars debit trade payables twenty seven thousand dollars credit purchases fifty six thousand dollars debit discount received eight thousand seven hundred dollars credit wages and salaries twelve thousand dollars debit discount allowed $5,200 debit, sundry expenses, $6,900, and suspense account, 400 
dollars and that's debit and our total is two hundred and twelve thousand five hundred dollars so that's what your trial balance should look like and both sides should be equal so you can always go back and see what all that you needed to put in your trial balance for it to balance so that covers the a part of the question so there you have a trial balance question in preparation for your exam well let's continue in completing question five here it says here the b part of the question says for each scenario identify the following errors which were later discovered one a sale of goods on account for $1,800 to M. Mullins had been posted to the account of M. Miller. So we know that is error of commission. The second part says, office equipment sold for $2,000 had been posted to the sales account. We know that is error of principal one mark each and the third part of the question says wages of four thousand five hundred dollars for the office workers had been debited to the bank and credited to the wages account we know that is complete reversal of entries and that's one mark for that as well. Let's look at our final part of the question five. Here we go. So the C part says prepare journal entries. This is a part of it too. Prepare journal entries to correct the errors identified in B on page 24 narratives are not required so what we have just did identify we're going to make a correction of that so how would we put that in our journal to correct it so in our journal m mullins account we would debit 1800 and m miller account we would credit 1800 to correct it and you can always go back we could look at back at the question remember it says here the first one says a sale of goods on account for $1,800 to M Mullins had been posted to the account of M Miller so in correcting it we would as we mentioned we would debit M Mullins account and credit M Miller account $1,800 each the next part says office equipment sold for $2,000 had been posted to the sales account. How would we make the correction in our general journal? Here, we would debit sales account $2,000 and credit office equipment account to correct the error let's look at the other one it says wages of four thousand five hundred dollars for the office workers had been debited to the bank and credited to the wages account so in making the error correcting the error we would debit wages expense account nine thousand dollars and credit bank nine thousand dollars and you will get eight marks for that and in total question five as you know value 20 marks so this is we have looked at one other question that will be coming up on your exam on monday so all the best i will be trying to do some more question in helping you to prepare for your exam thank you so much for watching